down here, right up on this hill. Yeah, we're approaching it up here. On top of this little hill is the Fleming Cemetery. And some of the members of the household were buried there. Uh, they said even some of the servants. We're about to explore the Fleming Cemetery. I just want to go up here and document Man. some of these. Um, oh, document some of these graves that are here. And we'll do some talking. With these spirits, if there are any here. And... Start this and see what we get. Ouch. Do some documentation of some of the graves up here. These are the Flemings. There are some uh, slaves that were buried here too. There's Fleming. Pleasant Fleming, Fleming, and Joseph Fleming. And there's a Anna, Anna Harold Fleming. There's an Eva. There's a Eva Fleming right here. Richards. Florence B. Fleming, Joseph C. Fleming, these are all fairly recent. And I don't know if there's any ever here. There's This cemetery's been abandoned. Wow. Emma and John W. Fleming. Mary Pleasant daughter of J.W. and E.E. E. Fleming. Okay. know that name. Maybe one of the daughters. Oh, dear poop. Uh, I don't know which way to walk. Don't want to walk over anything. I'm gonna start. At the far end and work back. Oh, this is a shame. Needless to say, this is close to a high school. Wow. That is such a shame. all broken up but kids Anderson
Now, I don't know if the slaves even had markers. Or anything. But let me see if I can show you down here. Yeah, this is the main road. Oh, just got a branch in my ear. And down around that corner is the high school. And it apparently seems that kids have been taking a shortcut through here. And messing around. They've gotten so many of these knocked over, it's sad. And what's bad is that this is a family of the place of the people that founded Fairmont. It shouldn't be like this. Oh boy. Oh, look at this. I'll tell you, people should be ashamed. This is one of the worst conditions. I think I've seen a cemetery in. Especially for being in the middle of Fairmont. John G. Fleming. Oh, no. 1899. Harvey Lanham. Lanham. I mean. L. Ren Fleming. Ruth Fleming, Allison, Clarissa, oh boy, <laughs> reading these branches and not paying attention to where I'm going. Thomas, E. Beulah, R. Lott, Alfred, Florence, Florence T, and then Florence E, Thurston Worth, there's a big one for Benjamin, oh, boy, I don't know whose that is. This is really a hard cemetery to get to. Because you're only like this far from someone else's house. Practically in their backyard. Actually, several houses. Alfred Fleming. can't quite make it out.
I guess they go this way now. A. Hale Fleming. Kelly's. More Kelly's. There's a lot of Kelly's. Another Kelly. Nellie Everhart Foster, John W. Everhart, oh over here there's a lot. Joseph C. Fleming, Pleasant Joseph, Richard, Isaac, and Ava. Back over there is Fleming, Anna, and Harold S. U.S. Fleming, Ella Fleming, wow, I didn't realize how big this really was. It's bigger than what I thought. John. John S. Fleming. William. Can't read it. Oh, William. Son of J.W. and Alf Everhart. Okay. 1868 to 1893. In memory of Elizabeth Walcott, who died September 5th, 1847, age 69. No. I guess it is this way. Hmm.
Can we pick a gorgeous day for this? Nice and overcast. Okay, back over this way. Huh. That's too badly cracked and worn. Rowan? Huh. Oh. Yeah. Haymond. We had one of these in our front yard. I saw three in a row over there. Comfort. I'd never heard of that name. Oh, Comerford. I'd never heard of that name either. Hmm. Yeah, this is in awful bad shape. And the bad thing is, you don't know if the slaves, if they're buried in here, and if they are, you know, did they get headstones? Are they buried in this land that's not marked? There's so much of it without stones. But yeah, this is so sad. Let me stand back a little bit further and get you a little bit better view. Very sad. I don't think I've ever seen so much destruction in a cemetery other than one that's been abandoned but this this shouldn't have been abandoned come on Fairmont you need to be doing your job someone's slacking Mallory yeah Mallory Waldron. Wow. Allie Jane, daughter of Z and M. B. Bartholomew. Born 1883, died 1889. Maggie Pearl, daughter of Z and M. B. Bartholomew. Born 1892, died 1907. And Lulu, daughter of Z and M.B. Bartholo, Bartholo, born December 14, 1897, died April I didn't see William E. his cemetery or his grave, but that's not to be expected because he was buried in Pennsylvania, up in a cemetery up in Pennsylvania.
It's just not just so sad though. This is probably really pretty at one time. It's got a dove at the top. I can't see no names or anything. Be interesting to do grave rubbings here. That one's July 22nd, 1863 to November 25th, 1893. Everhart. William Everhart. A Mary. That's a Fleming, but I can't make out enough of it to be able to. They're pretty wore out. This is an old one. Nancy Bo Bo B O A Z Boas Boas Fleming. It's pretty. And there's a booze Fleming. Departed in March 26, 1846. This one's back 1849. I think they were age 17. Aranda F. That's pretty. This simple stone is to I can't make that out. For son of Maynard E. Fleming, who died September tenth, eighteen forty seven. No wonder I can't read it. There's even a couple laying down here on the ground. These are all Flemings here. Older. 1886 to 1891. There's a Thurston Worth Fleming, Florence E. Fleming, Florence T. Fleming, Alfred Fleming, R. Lot Fleming, E. Bula Fleming, Thomas. Fleming, Clarence Fleming, Allison Fleming, Ruth Fleming, and El Reno Fleming. Mary H. Lanham. We're now we're into some Lanham, so I'm not sure who the Lanham's are. It's 1874 to 1938. Abby B. Lanham, 1878 to 1968. John G. Fleming. You can see these right here from the road, but you can't tell anything about them. There's nothing left. But these stick out pretty far. <laughs> I hope they don't mind that we're, a lot of these have been knocked over, probably by people. There are a couple of them that's even sunk in a bit. This is a real old one here. It says Shane, that's all we got. And that's a Kelly, that's a... 1808 to 1900. June. John. Kelly. That's really yeah, this cemetery is pretty old. This is Pierce Kelly and aunt wife 
Anne, wife of P. Kelly, 1823 to 1899, 1815 to 1894. Said there are a lot of these that are so old you can't see what they say. And if there are any spirits here that would like to talk to us, we'd certainly appreciate it. Local wildlife left us present. Even there's stones, like there's one. This has been neglected a little bit. Let me see, this is a Kelly, a Franklin P. Kelly, 1922. And these are so old down here, they're unreadable. It's from, that one has a date of April 12th, 1889. These are black, black gum trees, I believe. They have those little spiky balls on them. There's a lot of them over in here. We had one of these in our front yard. I don't know if I can make out what this one says. Patrick Maldoom drone? I'm not sure. 1882. Oh. These, you can't see anything with them. They were all pretty neat at one time, probably. Oh, you can see he's on this side. Lulu. Maggie Pearl. Allie Jane. These are Bartholos. I'm sure there's other ones here. There's an Anderson back here. Can't read the name on it. This is an awful nice one here. That's real nice. Can't read it or anything. Shame. I figured the local high school's over there. I figured kids come over here to skip school and just have a heyday with this stuff. <coughs> Pretty interesting cemetery. It's right in the middle of Fairmont. Not a very big one. Rhoda F, daughter of Booz and Fleming, Booz and Boaz Fleming, B-O-A-Z, Nancy. Huh. Like I said earlier, there was, uh, one over here, I recognize the name from some of the research we've already done. Yeah, a lot of these are sunken in and <laughs> toppled over. This one looks like it's about ready to go. That's a Fleming. I'm not sure I can make the date out on that. 1822. March 21st, 1822. 1882. Huh. John Fleming. John S. Fleming. But I recognized the name down here. 
There's the shore. Margaret Adela Kelly, 1864-1948. I remember this name down here. These are all the Kellys again. But this one, these are Everhart's, Nellie Everhart, H A R. Huh. They misspelled that or something. Because they got E V E R H A R. Looks like a D T. E V E R H A R T. Everhart. Ever. I don't know what that R on the other side of that. Between the R and the D is. Oh. Huh. But, uh. How many did you say is here? About 30, 40? At least 40? Yeah, he's off on his count. He said, oh, there's only about 20 up here. There's more than 20 graves up here. <laughs> well, a lot of them you can't even read. They're so old. And some of the slaves were buried here. Anyway, I wasn't getting anything, really. I didn't have it all the way on, either. 